many, many years ago, I uh, wanted to be a gang keeper. That was the uh, original plan, was uh, doing a bit of beating, but uh, got sacked for asking for more money. Heard an interview on the radio with the Master Thatcher and was persuaded, well, why don't you think about that as a career? Gave the chap a ring. Very luckily, he had uh, people working for him or young lads on Saturdays and school holidays. So I started as a 14 year old and worked every Saturday, every school holidays and just ended up sort of drifting, drifting into it and loved it right from the start and still do now. Well, very interestingly, anybody can call themselves a master thatcher. Um, but myself, uh, my work has been adjudged by my peers to be of a high enough standard to be a master thatcher and I am a member of the National Society of Master Thatchers. So I, I am a bona fide Master Thatcher. Um, but there are a lot of people that uh, just call themselves Master Thatchers uh, when they, they shouldn't be really, just Thatchers. Uh, every window is different, so we, we, we tend to, we, we've got an idea what we're going to do, um, but we tend to adapt them to how we see fit. There's, there's no right or wrong depth of thatch. I mean, we, we put on, once we, we get to a base coat, uh, which is normally around about sort of 18 inches thick, uh, we put a 12 inch coat on top of that. But there are certain thatchers that will just plonk it straight on the top so they won't strip the eaves and gables. And I have known one roof when I was uh, uh, a lot younger that was about six foot thick from the ridge pole to the top of the thatch. The type of material that we use, a uh, uh, straw material, is uh, comb wheat straw, sometimes known as comb wheat reed. The actual uh, variety is triticale, which was a rye-based wheat, which was uh, from about the 1900s. Uh, and this grows very, very clean so that that's why we like it in particular because it uh, hasn't got a lot of leaf on it so it goes onto the roof very cleanly the the, the straw when it's harvested is is harvested just a little bit green and with it being green it still retains a lot of its waxiness obviously the waxiness allows the water to to run off the roof and uh, if, if it's tightly enough packed the penetration is only about an inch to an inch and a half deep on it if you, if you were going to a job just to do a ridge, you could be there a, a, just a week quickly. Um, or the job that we've been on just recently has taken us nine weeks. With the ridge, uh, after we've uh, put a turnover on the top of it, so this, uh, straw has gone over the top of the apex, we would then secure it all down with spars, which are made from hazel. Uh, the parallel lines, uh, we call those ligers that we put on, then put down with twisted hazel spars uh, with some nice lattice in the middle of it. Once that's all secure, we would then uh, get ourselves our template, which uh, for our job is half circles, uh, and we would cut round the template all the way along the roof to, to create uh, our ridge. Once the roof has uh, been applied, it will be a beautiful yellow and then it tends to start, start sort of dulling down reasonably quickly, it goes to a sort of bit of a greyish colour and then goes off onto a, a nice dark colour. Depending on weather circumstances, if you get a lot of rain, it does tend to dull down quicker. The, the ridge will last you 10 to 15 years. Um, and with a comb wheat straw roof, you should hopefully get 25, maybe maybe 30 years, depending. But it's around about 25 year lifespan. But you will have a new ridge, as I say, within 10 to 15 years. So halfway through its life, you will have a certain amount of maintenance to the property. We, as I say, we, we've got to the point of nine weeks we've been on this job and uh, we've got the wire on and we're just finishing, cement fleshings are on there and you can look up and you say, we did that. And you can drive around all the local villages and you say, we did that, we did that. And you feel proud that, you know, you've, you, you've 
put your stamp on the villages and you've done a fantastic job as well. It's, uh, yeah, I can smile about that. <laughs>